Hello and welcome to this Make Explore Art tutorial. Now today I'm going to show you how to use a brushable wax resist. So I'll be showing you how to use this brushable wax resist on a piece of cotton fabric. So it's called Zestic and it comes in different sized tubs and it's a little bit like paint medium. So if you're used to using that you'll know this kind of gloopy uh, texture that it is. I'm using a paintbrush and a spreader to change how I apply this to the surface. Um, I'm applying it in lines, so over my design, but you can obviously apply it over a larger area and if you wanted to create a batik, I'm sure that is also possible with this product. Once you finish your piece, leave it to dry for about an hour. It's a little bit like paint, as I said before, and it does need to dry and set before applying ink. Now once my piece is fully dry, I'm going to add colour using Anilinky inks. I'll show you a range of the colours here. They come in a watercolour size palette and are really high in pigment, so they give this rich kind of colour to the surface. I like using this Anilinky watercolour ink set on fabrics and papers, however it is water soluble so you've got to remember that if you are creating textile pieces that they can't be washed. That being said, these two mediums, so the brushable wax and the Anna Linky inks, are fantastic for student samples, particularly in sketchbooks and for larger wall hangings and items like that. I hope from this that you can see that the possibilities are kind of endless with this cold wax resist. You can use it on paper, you can obviously use it on fabric and a lot of other things. Once you've finished, you can iron off the excess like you would if you were doing hot batik wax. Thank you for watching, subscribe to Make Explore Art for more tips, tricks and tutorials and see you next time.